Welcome back. My name is William Bissett and I'm on a journey to better health and a better life. This is week number one and last week I told you that I was going to visit my doctor and visit some specialists. Well I went to visit my doctor and this is what happened. So doctor, I want to be ridiculously good looking. I mean, I want to be healthy and I want to lose some weight. What can I do? Okay, that's great that you've got that goal. Uh, what we'll do is we'll get your measurements, your waist and your height and your weight and your blood pressure and see where you're at now. And then we can look at where you should be in terms of being healthy and work, talk about some ways that we can get you to where you should be and where you want to be as well. So William, we've got all your measurements. That puts you in the uh, a BMI of 37, which is a ratio of your height to your weight. Ideally, we'd like you down to about 25 ratio of weight to height. So we'd need to get you down to about 85 to 90 kilos. Right. Um, and so now we'll talk about some ways that we can do that. There's just so much information about losing weight. I'm getting really confused. Like, do I have carbs? Don't I have carbs? Do I have protein? It's all really confusing. What are your thoughts? Well, there are a few simple tricks. Certainly protein is really good at sustaining um, your energy levels in terms of it it's release, releases energy really slowly so you feel fuller for longer. So I actually think a slightly higher protein, slightly lower carbohydrate, but I wouldn't worry too much about that. I think it's more likely that you'll sustain your healthy lifestyle if it's really simple. And so there's a very good healthy lifestyle diet, it's called, um, for diabetics. And I actually think that's a, probably the best type of healthy lifestyle program to follow. Well, you know what I think, doctor? I think you and I should go out for tea, just so, of course, you can help me choose from the menu, you know, choose better options for healthy eating. Uh, what do you say? Oh, William, you're the first patient to ask me that, but I'm sure you're sensible enough to manage it all by yourself. So I'll give you a blood test form that you can take to MedLab, and that will check for things like your cholesterol levels, which is the fat in your blood, and also your sugar levels to rule out things like diabetes. And we'll catch up next week and go through the results of that and see if there's anything we need to do. <laughs> that was an interesting visit, wasn't it? But she did actually give me some really good practical information to follow about what I should be eating and what I shouldn't be eating and also a little bit about exercise. So I'll play that for you at the end of this video. It's been a really interesting week actually because I haven't really been on a diet but I have been trying to make better choices. I've been trying to cut down on junk food and I've been trying to eat healthier foods, you know, living foods. For example, I had a friend come over from Australia and we went out for dinner and uh, I was absolutely drooling over the menu. And I was thinking to myself, oh, you know, I haven't really started my diet. Maybe I should just, you know, order these, this deep fried food, which I normally get just one more time. But you know what? I didn't. I ordered a nice healthy salad. And I tell you what, I really enjoyed it. And yeah, I did still feel a little bit hungry, but I felt much better for it. I'm actually trying to learn to enjoy the feeling of hunger. Not starvation, but just enjoy the, the feeling of hunger. Anyway, I was walking back to work one day and uh, I bumped into Rachel Tompkinson. Well, look who I bumped into, Rachel Tompkinson from <laughs> Better Bods. Rachel, I'm on a journey to a better health and a better life. And I'll be honest, I'm a little bit confused as to what to do. Uh, there's so many diets out there. There's so many options to eat. Look, just over the next few days, can you give me some advice? You know, I work so hard and I often have to eat out. Can you give me some advice if I have to go into a cafe, what should I choose? Well, my first advice is not to do a diet. Because you know what diet means? I love it. You, you had me at not doing a diet. Yeah, Thank yeah, you. yeah. Let's no, just no stop diet. right now. No, no diet. diet. I'm happy. Because diet, the first three part of the diet is die. And then the T is the, the, you know, for when you put it on your coffin. Diet. 100% death. So don't go there. Okay, I'm liking this already, I think. <laughs> no, I just keep clean living food, no goo. Goo? What the heck yeah. is goo? Goo is all the crap they put in food today to actually make you want to eat more. Interesting. What, what type mm. of things is that? Like MSGs, HVPs, aspartic acid, all those type of things. So basically a whole heap of crap in your food. So keep it really simple. So when you're looking for food options, if you're in the supermarket, just look at the ingredient list on the label. So it should be 100% say tomatoes or 100% cucumber, you know what I mean? Without the other things added to it, yeah. Sounds like uh, we have to have a, a bit more of a conversation, I think. Yeah. Uh, so maybe we'll make an appointment next week. Yeah, that sounds good. Now, William, you must take this pill three times a day. Right. 
treatment? How am I supposed to take the same pill three times a day? Well, this is my first week, and to be quite honest, I'm quite happy with myself. I've made such better choices than I normally would, but with that said, I'm not being really freaked out about exactly what I should or shouldn't be having. I'm just trying to be sensible and make better choices. And over the next couple of weeks, I intend to carry that, that on really, because I still need to do a lot of research about exactly what I should be doing to gain better health. But I also need that time to mentally prepare for the fact that I'm you know, embarking on this project. But in the meantime, what about you? Are you looking for better health? Maybe you feel you're overweight. Well, the Timaru Herald would love to hear from you. So go onto Facebook or, or give them a call or email them and share your story with us. But in the meantime, I'll see you next week. Reducing would be the amount of mince, takeaways, um, butter, cheese, cream, really high fat items. And also about the way you cook food. So for instance, sausages, instead of frying them, you'd be looking at grilling them. Exercise, there's lots of different options for exercise. You, whatever you like really, whether it's walking, running, cycling, going to the gym, doing a martial arts, swimming, it doesn't matter. As long as you're doing something every day, ideally, but if not five to six times a week, for at least 30 minutes at a time, at what we would say would be moderate exercise levels. So where you can speak a sentence, but just a very short sentence. So you're sort of getting out of breath, but not very out of breath.